down the spine of a sand dune onto a crushed seashell road. We walked barefoot and hungry to your car. Being able to go to a school and and study art <laughs> is it's incredible and it's also really important that we have places like this. What would we do as a culture without art? Where would we be? Where would we be without music and poems and paintings and dance? That's what I'm here for. Once I have a student that writes something, then I can say, this is the most awesome part of your song right here because, okay, how many other people loved this part? And then everybody raises their hands. And then I'm like, okay, now, just when you go to this part, just will you just sing it for four more measures because it's so great, you know? And they're like, really? And then you're like, yeah. Resting on your every beat as we walk in time. I try to implement character and um, belief in my students that it's about continuing to do the next thing, the next best thing you can do. There are so many jobs that help art be heard and seen in the world, and I think that that's what Berkeley is really starting to expand and proving that it's catering to, which is if you want to be in the circus of this thing called art and life, come here and we'll help you learn how to do all of the different things that you could do to be out there and be around people like you, which is just sociologically what all of us are trying to do, right? We're trying to get comfortable. We're just trying to be ourselves. Music education is imperative. These exercises, these ideas that we're pounding into the students' heads are things that can be utilized later in life, yes, to write other songs, but also, more importantly, <laughs> to continue to live. That's what an education gives you, is the ability to have something not to fall back on, but to, but to actually help hold you up. And I think that that's a really new way of looking at education for me. Yes, we are love, and love is home.